What up, cats? What up, chicks? It's Rebel Greaser here. So, today's video is going to deal with the lifestyle of the rockabilly greaser subculture. There are many subcultures out there today. There is psychobilly, rockabilly greaser, um, hippie, punk, preppy. There's a lot of them. Okay? And they're all good in their own way. But I am going to focus solely on the rockabilly greaser subculture because that's what I am. I'm greaser, rockabilly, you know, rebel, all rolled into one. The reason for this video is today earlier on I had a friend on Facebook he um called me a poser. I think he was messing around, you know, we messed around with each other like that. But I said he was a poser and he asked me how he was a poser. I said, dude, you know, you don't do the hair, you know, the clothing and, and that kind of thing. And he said that, you know, he has to wear a hat to work so he can't do the hair. Well, that's understandable. What about after work? And, you know, I have the clothes, I just forget to cuff them. It's not just about cuffing your clothes or doing your hair. This is a lifestyle. You know, the greaser subculture itself started back in the late 40s, the early 50s, and was predominantly established by the early mid 50s, really, like 55. And they really drew their dressing style from the bikers. And because there wasn't a lot really geared toward, you know, their, you know, the thing about it being a greaser, they modeled things for themselves, such as the rock and roll music. Well, back in the day, you know, to the older generation, it was... You can't listen to that. That's devil's music. That's sinful music. You can't listen to that. Well, with any teenager, youth, and even young adult who lives at home, when your parents or your authority figure tells you you can't do something, the first thing you do is what? You do it. They model themselves on rebellion, such as Rock and roll music, rockabilly music, you know, uh, James Dean, Marlon Brando, the rebel styles, the rebel look. They liked that stuff. That was their, their, um, that was their thing, you know. They, they rebelled, you know, they smoked and drank and did everything that you shouldn't do. You know, they rebelled against the authority. And, and even today, that's still kind of how it is. The lifestyle is about loving the old things, such as rock and roll music, rockabilly music, doo -wop. You know, appreciating, you know, vintage clothing or stuff that looks vintage that you can get. Or... You know, having a love for the old cars, the old motorcycles, the old things, you know, the historical things. And that's part of the lifestyle. The other part of the lifestyle is, you know, appreciating, you know, the hairstyle and, you know, appreciating pomade, you know, zippos and stuff like that. Maybe having a smoke here and there. Maybe having a drink here and there. I'm drinking juice, but that's just because... 
I pretty much stopped drinking. Hopefully, for good, but relapsing happens. But these are the things. The lifestyle is really, it's about, you know, today's society we have certain things of modern conveniences. Cell phones, computers, laptops, iPads. You know, we have social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You know, all those. We have those things. And those things are good because now we can communicate better with other creatures. But we still hold to the, you know, old way of doing certain things, you know. You know, we, we like, you know, buying old stuff and using it if we can. Old apple peelers, old can openers, old things, you know. These are the things that make us what we are. The lifestyle is about having appreciation for the old things. The old school style you know the media portrays greasers as young juvenile delinquents and a lot of parents or authority figures or even just anybody who's older than the youth or young adult or adolescent or whatever you may be will say or think to themselves man they, they look like those kids off Greece or oh man they, they look like they're from the Wanderers or they, they look like they're outsiders they're, they're bad kids they're delinquents they're juvenile they're criminal we're not juvenile delinquents we're not criminals we're not crooks you know we're not that's not what we're about we're rebellious and we're rebels, yes, but the media portrays us as bad people. We're not running around stabbing people or whipping out a blade or a chain or any, any kind of weapon. Somebody pisses us off. It ain't like that. Some greasers act like that. They're usually young and stupid. They see that stuff in a movie and they back the fuck off. I'll cut you. Stab you like Johnny Depp Bob or something. We're not all like that. We're actually pretty chilled, laid back kind of people. We don't like confrontation. We're not all great big muscle bound tough guys we're tough in our mentality yeah but you know we don't go around you know trying to kick everybody's ass you know we're not bad people the media betrays us as something bad because of how it was back in the 50s and stuff there was a lot of different things going on but nowadays it's different The lifestyle is having an appreciation for the old school things, the old school music, the old school way of life. Using today's modern inconveniences to connect around the world with even friends who aren't greasers and with friends who are. I hope this video helped you guys because it's got to be brought out. This is not just a hairstyle, clothing style, you know. This is a lifestyle. This is how we are. This is what we are. And we're proud of what we are. So. Until next time, same greaser, same greaser channel. Stay greasy cats. Stay sexy chicks. I'm Rebel Greaser.